welcome to Janet Pomfret School for Peak Performance Prep Hockey Action. Team Crimson takes on Team Gold in our second of two games. Live from Pomfret School, Team Crimson in a home game. They're sitting at seven and seven after a seven to one win versus Team Gray in their last game. While Team Gold comes in eight and six with a three to two shootout loss versus Team Maroon in their last one. Team Crimson in front of the hometown crowd looking to make something happen. And it's coming up to you live next, free on the Fans Only Sports Network. play-by-play play. Ash and Allison working the camera we're ready to go going campus series game two here at Pomfret School on this Sunday evening team gold takes on team crimson live on the fans only sports network and it starts right now team crimson in possession of the puck as Luke Corrigan gets it to the blue line now bring it in, in close and a quick opportunity for Team Green. Nearly Jesse Heinberg was able to direct it towards the goal. Unsuccessful on that try. Starting in goal for Team Gold is Gordon Leary. And down the other end of the ice for Team Green and a diving attempt and almost again another scoring opportunity. The John here in Pomfret, Connecticut is filling up nicely for their own Pomfret Griffins, Team Crimson, as Iskovitz near post deflected by Leary. Another centering pass, this one up in the air. Team Gold takes over as Jacob Gelman kicks it into the neutral zone. Back and forth to start things as Leary comes out for Team Gold and kicks it over to his teammate as Agarwal grabbed it. Agarwal sent into the boards. Team Gold keeps possession as they enter the attacking zone.
Charlie Adams with you. No score as we're just kicking off Team Crimson versus Team Gold. Watching peak hockey on the Fans Only Sports Network. Team Gold has it in the neutral zone. Kicks it behind the net of the Crimson. Shot attempt deflected. This game kicking off about an hour later than expected due to glass breaking and a chance and a score for Team Gold. The rebounded shot score as Team Gold finds the back of the net first. Team Gold strikes first as Miles Bronson able to score there and now center ice faceoff. Team Crimson leading, or tr Team Crimson trails by one. A lot of Team Crimson's fans have traveled to the uh, far side where Crimson's defending. They're in line with the bench, but Crimson attacks twice on the less populated side. The side that is closest to our broadcast position with Stearns taking it for Team Gold. Gives way to Darche. And the puck heads the other end of the ice. Picked up by Lexi Kurt. Kurt wearing a red helmet for Team Gold. With Paul Starnes. Paul Stearns is wearing a blue helmet for Team Gold. But it's Crimson with the puck now as they trail by one. Luke Corrigan off the back of the net. Now he has it in the corner. And Corrigan gets it taken away by Jacob Gelman. And Gelman dumps it down the other end of the ice. Line changing for Team Gold. Crimson from behind the blue line sends it on over. Pushed off by Leary. Now 40A. Felix Fortier, it's up now to Matt Trudell. In the far right corner of the rink. Takeaway for Crimson. And a big open ice collision. Knocking the helmet nearly off of Itzkovic. And stopping any advance towards the goal. Huge hit, but Matthew Itzkovitz seemingly no worse for the wear. Gold getting it into the neutral zone and now tracking it behind Crimson's goal. Quick shot deflected off of Leary's leg protector. Into the corner it goes for Pierce. Have a whistle with 12.37 left to go. You're watching Peak Hockey on the Fans Only Sports Network. Sports are live and free on the Fans Only Sports Network. And check out our on-demand library of any Peak Hockey games this season. Headed to the penalty box for Team Crimson. It'll be Tim Russell. So short-handed while trailing, Team Crimson looking to buckle down on the power on the penalty kill and keep that lead at just one goal. Deflected again and now wrapped around by Team Gold, bringing it up top. 
to the left wing where they'll wrap it around again up to Jacob Gelman. Puck rolls into the neutral zone. Team Gold in possession having to reset back into the attacking zone. Gold passing around, man advantage. That shot wider than that. That pass just unable to connect. Ethan Chueshi on the ice now for Crimson, running it down. Now Gelman passing from behind his net to the left side. Now cross ice, right side of the rink. Four team gold, minute left on the power play. Poking it around and into the neutral zone. Time continues to run down on the penalty kill for Team Crimson. Trying to limit the damage. They still lead, need one to tie things up. Argerwall gets it up the ice now. Ricocheting off the boards. Still along the boards, Crimson running it down in the neutral zone. And a ricochet off the boards right to Leary. Stops it there and passes it off to Kurt. Kurt going across the ice and finding Tommy Greenhaw. Wraps all the way around. Leary comes out, passes it hard off the boards. Gold able to get to it first. Now an open ice picked up and whistled off sides. Whistle coming at 10 minutes and 13 seconds in our first period. Charlie Adams alongside Ashton Allison working the camera. Face off coming up after the offsides. Won by Team Gold in the hands of Felix Fortier. Gets it into the neutral zone where it's taken away. Team Crimson now brings it in. Cross ice deflected off of a skate. Gold takes back. Luke Corrigan centering pass near Leary. Unable to get it up and over. Good save by Gordon Leary. Face off one by Crimson. Crimson with a chance as they bring it into the attacking zone. Corrigan shot, bouncing up and towards the netting. Stays in play. Jesse Heinberg now among those fighting for it, but Fortier takes it away. Now Lucier gets it into the neutral zone. Team Gold firmly in possession with nine minutes left to play. Now Crimson's turn to try to tie things up, and they do. Tyler Milrad even swings that one apiece. Nine oh two remaining. We're back to one apiece. Team Gold discussing with referees as 
team gold in the penalty box. So after giving up the tying goal, they are now down a man for two minutes. Chance for Crimson to take the lead. So Will McLean gets it to the point for Crimson. Crimson working it to Itzkovitz. Now back up the, to Itzkovitz. Puck lost down the other end. It'll be picked up by Isaac Rice. Power play chance as Crimson looking to break out behind their own net. Moving it up the floor. Up to ice now as Pierce gets it to McLean who couldn't get the shot off. Penalty kill of Team Gold. Dutifully working to keep this game tied. As Crimson with less than a minute now on the power play. Move it around the rink and now bringing it into the attacking zone. Marcelino getting it back now on the right wing, getting it to the point. Marcelino, cross ice. And the pass, unsuccessful, tried to find Luke Corrigan, taken away and cleared before Team Gold switches lines on their penalty kill. Less than 30 seconds to go. Team Crimson and Gold tied up. Making moves and a chance and a score. Great pass to a better goal. And Team Crimson takes the lead on the power play. It's Jesse Heinberg puts them ahead by one. Crimson at home in the campus series. Getting their hometown crowd behind them takes the lead. Our third goal of our first period. Now it's Team Gold's turn to try to equalize things. Getting it all the way up. Another opportunity and ringing off of the post. Jake Glickman unable to get across. Tried to get a two goal lead for the Crimson. Shot from distance is pushed away by Crimson's goalkeeper. As Crimson now takes it down the other end of the ice, wrapping behind the goal and brought in by William Underwood for team gold. It's along the corner now, but Agarwal able to control it for gold, but Chueshi defending strongly. Back and forth action on the scoreboard as well as on the ice. Team goal, Team Crimson with two unanswered goals putting them in front. Shoveled along the ice, tried to find Taweshi intercepted and now Team Gold back with the puck. now fighting for it for Crimson along the boards kept on side 
by Marcelino. And now Heinberg chases it down. Crimson applying pressure, trying to extend their lead and get a takeaway with Luke Corrigan trying to get through and now passed across the ice. A weak shot attempt deflected off of Gordon Leary and now Gold has it. Gold having it now taken away as it puck on the far side of the rink from our broadcast position. Crimson in their own end, wrapping it around. Making a move inside and Corrigan unable to get it on target. Puck flying out of play with 342. Have a face off in front of Gordon Leary in goal for Team Gold. Face off in the hands now of David Dong. Finding David Dong up the right side of the rink. Team Gold looking to answer, unable to connect on that pass and a whistle. 313 left to play putting the goal back into position. <laughs> Must. 3-12 left to play. Face off brought in by Crimson in their own end. Now getting it out, trying to get through, but tough defense being played by Lucier. Now Itzkovitz with a chance. But Gold able to clear it, now bring it down the other way. Whistle coming there after the tripping penalty. And it sends Team Gold back to the penalty box. They're shorthanded again. Another two minute minor. Leaves not much time left in the first period when they return to full strength. They still trail by one. As Crimson wins the faceoff now with a man advantage. And the screen shot is saved by Leary. So another faceoff coming up. Saucered over to Luke Corrigan. And the shot saved with two minutes left to play. Covered up, we'll have another face off. Minute and 30 seconds left on the power play for Team Crimson, trying to extend their lead. Looking to go up by two. Already two unanswered goals. Crimson gets the puck off of the faceoff. 
now works it behind their own net looking to make something happen Jesse Heinberg bringing it in now wrapping around getting it to Luke Corrigan getting it taken away now Underwood for team gold now a chance on offense despite the penalty kill unable to connect on the pass team crimson back the other way Offsides called and now face off with one, two, three left in our first period with 52 seconds left on the power play chance for Crimson. Crimson playing at home here at Pomfret School, part of the Peak Performance Prep Campus Series. Charlie Adams alongside my cameraman Ashton Allison as Crimson bringing it into the attacking zone. Itzkovitz along the right wing. batted into the neutral zone all the way down the rink. Be scooped up with less than 30 seconds on the power play. Ricocheting off the boards to Colden Lawrence. Four, three, two, one. We're back to even strength with Team Crimson opportunity just off the mark. Under 20 seconds to go. First period nearly in the books. Three goals combined between both teams. An exciting first period. Scoring might not be done as the cross ice pass unsuccessful. Tried to find Agarwal, unable to connect. With under five seconds to go. And that'll do it for your first period. Team Crimson leads two to one. Two unanswered goals by Tyler Milrad and Jesse Heinberg have them in the lead. Playing a home game here at Pomfret School. We'll be back for second period action. <laughs> For second period action, Team Crimson leading 2-1. to one. Watching peak hockey on the Fans Only Sports Network. Charlie Adams here on play-by-play. -play. After an exciting first period that had two unanswered goals currently from Team Crimson. Team Gold needing to answer back, looking to tie. They have the puck now as their own end. And a goal by Team Crimson down the other end of the rink as they extend their lead now to three goals. Big 
big insurance goal from Team Crimson. As Tim Russell, the goal scorer. In goal for Team Crimson is Boo Johnson. Close team Crimson wrapping around the net. Floating it across the ice now over to Millerad. Neutral zone for Team Gold. Now trailing by two. Has a shot deflected there. Now one on none over the net. Almost a chance to continue to extend the lead. Picked up by Team Crimson's Tyler Bartlett. Bartlett getting it to Marcelino. Two on two as they enter the attacking zone. Getting it close and waved off immediately. Score still three to one. Face off coming up here. Taken in by Team Crimson following the face off win. Not being fought for along the boards near the corner of Team Gold. On the ice, another shot attempt. This one saved by Leary. Second chance. Also off the mark. Team Gold taking it back down the ice. After scoring the first goal of the game, gone silent ever since. Continue that way as Drew Fectu brings it in for Team Crimson before it is out of play. Stopped clock at 14.53. Face off, immediate shot by Chaweshi. Over the net, but Crimson keeps possession. They get it out to Chaweshi now, who makes a move and passes on. And slipped up with the puck. Easy takeaway as Colden Lawrence loses control of his skates. Lexi Kurt sends it out of play. with it following the face off going cross ice 
kicked away by LeBlanc defending for Team Crimson. And now it's Chueshi who brings it on attack for Team Crimson into the neutral zone where Gold picks it back up. And offsides called. Tried to avoid it, but unable to, and we'll have a face-off. Score sits at 3-1 following Tim Russell's goal to push the lead up to three. Face-off in the hands of Rough flush now for Team Crimson. Now it's Sean Farrell using the boards to get it on the other end of the rink. Charlie Adams here at John Ice Rink on site of Pomfret School. Lucier, pump faking, gets it taken away into the neutral zone where Crimson now trying to handle business. Already leading by two. Sean Farrell gets it to the neutral zone where it's passed along and taken away now by Team Gold. Jesse Heinberg called for offsides as he entered the attacking zone. 12.42 left in your second period. You're watching Peak Hockey Campus Series on the Fans Only Sports Network. Season winding down. We'll have a face-off here. That's one decisively by Gold. Goes out to Leary, passing it on. Gold does a wraparound, trying not to lose it in their own end, but Crimson takes over with a chance to score through the five hole. They make it happen. Tyler Bartlett sneaks it past, and Team Crimson now leads. Four to one. Crimson dominating in their home rink. Up to a three goal lead, not even halfway through this game and covered up by Boo Johnson. Face off. And Crimson's end taken in by Crimson, Ian Sherman. Wrapped it around and now into the neutral zone. Crimson not done as Itzkovitz tried to connect across the rink and unsuccessful there. And it's covered up. We'll have a face off coming. Then 12 minutes remaining in our second period. Team Gold coming out of their own end, getting it up to Kurt. Yeah. 
Lexi Kurt retrieves it for Team Gold, gets it centered, pushed off the path by Tyler Millerad for Team Crimson. Getting in close on Leary. Nothing doing. Cross ice. Unable to connect. Milrad wraps it around. Knocked off as he skates. At the last second. Colden Lawrence now for Team Crimson. Good defense by the Crimson. We're watching peak hockey. Campus series as Crimson dominating in their home game here at Pomfret School. Taking over this game up by three, leading four to one. Cole LeBlanc for Crimson, trying to get it out over the blue line into the neutral zone. Gold able to take it back there. A lot of work to do as time ticks down in our second period. Shot covered by Johnson. Face off coming up. Goal came a little loose. Puck with Cole LeBlanc now going across the ice, down the ice, all the way up to Danny McNeil. on the far end from our broadcast position in the corner of the John. Danny McNeil trying to urge the puck the other way. Pushed off of the blocker by Boo Johnson. Bounced up, gloved, and covered by Johnson. Another face off to come. Johnson near net, and a whistle again. And this net has been a problem all day as it's a little bit loose again. So we're back for another face-off in front of Team Crimson's goal. Tyler Bartlett, the most recent goal scorer. the net of Team Crimson. Now Crimson back with the puck. And whistle 8-16 left to play. Face off. 
taken in now by Team Crimson as Ruffleisch gets it up to Bartlett into the neutral zone where it's Jesse Heinberg. And now Gold bringing it into the attacking zone. Still trailing by three as Johnson with the leg save. Now Jesse Heinberg in Crimson's own end. Loses possession. And now trying to wrap around. Try and picked up on Team Crimson. Able to stop things there. Grabs the puck as both teams switch lines with 7.27 left in our second period. Crimson with it. Cross ice pass. Tried to find Brooks Pierce. Now taken away by Team Gold. Gold getting it to Lucier now across the rink and finding the back of the net. Team Gold eats into the lead a little bit with Felix Fortier scoring the second goal of the game. Lead down to two, and now no goal on the other end. Team Gold finally answering back after three goals from Team Crimson. Another opportunity and another score. Team Gold with some slick passing. Benjamin Darche cutting the lead in half. Now four to three. Back to back quick goals by Team Gold. Team Gold fighting back in the second period. They just trail by one after trailing by three at the start of the period. And we'll have icing called. Tyler Milrad tries to get it inside. A shot attempt off the mark. Puck in the neutral zone now. The team gold after two quick scores. Looking to add on again. Johnson able to stop that one. And Will McLean pushing it to Colden Lawrence, who's knocked off his feet. Gold takes it back off the blocker of Johnson. And Chaweshi takes it in for Team Crimson now. Being pushed along the boards, Chaweshi 
and Dong a part of the pile up trying to fight for the puck. Gets loose and Crimson has it. Floated into the neutral zone where Gold takes it back and deflected there. And a lot closer as it bounces over and just barely able to be pushed away for heading into the netting above the goal and bounced over Johnson but able to get pushed out of harm's way the last second. Inches away from tying things up. As Kurt shot. Unsuccessful now bounced up. Another attempt off the mark. Big hit along the boards. And Crimson takes back possession. Tim Russell pushing it along. Up to Jake Glickman. Less than five minutes remaining in the second period. Team Gold. Now with two unanswered goals. A spin around shot try, but saved and covered by Boo Johnson. Face off in front of Team Crimson's goal, taken in by Crimson. Now working it around Corrigan, getting it up the ice. A chance to score in a sprawling save. Another opportunity as Heinberg shot deflected again. And now Team Gold moving it up. Shot wide of the net, off the glass. And Luke Corrigan passing up to Marcelino. Team Crimson looking to once again have a multi-goal lead as they get it to the right wing for Isaac Rice. Shot deflects off. Second chance taken away by Team Gold. Gold's pushed it into the neutral zone now, heading into the attacking zone. Another shot. Late deflection pushes it just right of the net. Darche. Latest goal scorer for Team Gold. Gold another takeaway in the attacking zone as they continue to apply pressure, working it around the net now, up the ice. Jacob Head. Head loses control of his skates and the puck ricochets off of the ceiling. Just about two minutes remaining in our second period. Don't go anywhere during the intermission. We'll have third period action right here on the Fans Only Sports Network where this game seemingly just heating up. It's a one score game as the puck goes to the right of the net. Picked back up by Franzaniak. Now Crimson, Isaac Rice trying to get it out of his own end and loses his feet there. Sherman gets it all the way up the other way. Puck moves to the right of Gold's net.
shot attempt and a glove save. Great work by Gordon Leary to stop that one. So we'll have a face off with just over a minute remaining in our second period. Team Gold winning it and bringing it down the ice. Cross ice pass, cross ice again and near post save. Weaving down the ice and almost getting it across but a great save by Boo Johnson keeps the lead with Team Crimson. Under a minute, Team Crimson winning the faceoff and pushing the puck down the ice. Not many stops in play in our second period. Pretty much a clean game penalty-wise. Covered with 41 seconds remaining. continuing to run slim in our second period with Team Gold looking to tie things up before our second intermission. Crimson's also looking to add on. 20 seconds left to go. Second period action on the Fans Only Sports Network. Charlie Adams with you as Cole LeBlanc sends it into the neutral zone. Chaweshi tries to go cross ice, intercepted by Team Gold. Gold with maybe one more chance. His time ticks down and clock runs out in the second period. Team Crimson leads four to three, but their lead is in danger. Two unanswered goals by Team Gold. We'll see what's left of this one in our third period of action. Don't go anywhere. We're watching Peak Performance Prep Hockey on the Fans Only Sports Network.
Welcome back. Third period ready to get underway here at the John. A home game for Team Crimson. And they lead by four to three, but not as dominating as they or their fans or anyone really expected by the way they started this game. Three unanswered goals, but now facing two unanswered by Team Gold as they try to make a comeback. In net for Team Gold, Ryder Holloway. Charlie Adams with you on play-by-play. -play. And on a ice rink so cold you can see your breath. Trying to keep warm, but most importantly, bring you the hockey action from Peak Performance Prep's campus series here on campus at Pomfret School, home of Team Crimson, and they lead it by a goal. Ison called the other way. Team Crimson closest to our broadcast position now. Brooks Pierce running it down for the Crimson, now passing behind the net of Team Gold. the legs of Milrad, first goal scorer of the night for Team Crimson, tied things up at one apiece. Since then, Crimson's been leading ever since, as covered there, Boo Johnson in goal for Team Crimson. Gordon Leary started in goal for Team Gold, now replaced by Ryder Holloway. And Team Gold immediately off the faceoff ties things up. It's now even four to four. For the first time since Tyler Millrad's goal as Jacob Head puts across the fourth goal for Team Gold. Immediately after the face-off win. It's a whole new game now. 15 minutes to decide this one. And Crimson bringing it into the attacking zone. Colden Lawrence ringing the shot off of the post. Nearly was able to get through. Cordon Lawrence now back with the puck, back in the attacking zone. Weaving on through and shot just left of the net. As noted by a spectator in between periods, there's only one ref on the ice at the moment. Don't, not sure when or why the second ref was no longer here, but just one ref. So hard business for Taylor as our referee, doing a solo job as deflected shot.
cross ice where Jake Glickman fights for it and now gets it to his teammate unable to get it across Jesse Heinberg goes all the way down the rink where Boo Johnson leaves it for his team and now another opportunity this time Marcelino looking to wrap around the goal centering pass off the mark but the goal comes loose But now the referee rules it a goal. So Team Crimson, after the goal came off the mooring, is given the credit for the goal and now back in the lead. So a bit of confusion. But Crimson awarded the goal eventually. So gold back up, back trailing after tying things up. Gold needing to tie things up once again, but Team Crimson with another chance. Itzkovitz with a hard shot. And Rothleisch Leaves it the other way. Down the end of the ice for Brooks Pierce now near post. Pushed along and a whistle again. talking again as the goal moves a little off kilter and seems like there will be no goal this time. So we'll have a face off after the goal came loose. Another before we can even get the face off going Peg comes out. Now we're all set, hopefully. This goal has been a problem in both games today from John Rink. Now Team Gold. Looking for that equalizer once again as Johnson covers the puck up. Shot up in the air, bouncing around, near post, covered up. Wind it up, shot off of the mark. And Chileshi bringing it down the rink for Team Crimson. Swept off his feet, Jake Glickman. No penalty as Team Gold Use possession. 
Philippines getting physical along the boards. Still over ha half of our third period left to play. Crimson's bench as the puck bounces around now. Crimson with it. Ryder Holloway scoops it along over to Lucier, where Marcelino's there to take it away for our team Crimson. Puck bounding. Out of play, face off coming up. Under 10 minutes left in this one. Crimson playing in their home venue. They lead by one. Charlie Adams with you the rest of the way. Ash and Allison working to camera. Puck in the neutral zone. Passed along now. Taken away. Now Crimson coming back. One on two as Corrigan tries to weave through. Cover with 9.14 left to play. the blue line shot kicked up in the air picked up by Crimson and now it's Brooks Pierce shooting wide right of the net another shot this one deflected but gold back with it as Franziak Itzkovitz turning around getting the pass off deflected off the stick up into the netting. Face off coming up. Face off taken by Crimson from the blue line shot up and over the net. Cole LeBlanc now skating around. Unable to get that shot connected. And a loose stick as Chueshi has it behind the net of Team Gold. Crimson looking to get back to a multi-goal lead ever since those three unan or two unanswered goals. It's Kurt with it. Shot behind over now into the corner. Passing around, shot deflected. Good save by Boo Johnson. 
Lexi Kurt winding up for a shot. Off the mark, Kurt has to chase it down into the neutral zone. Centered pass. No one there to receive it for Crimson. Pushed around and through. Team Gold ties it up on the far side of the rink. We're back even now, five to five. Credit the goal to Jacob Gelman. So we're back even now with two thirds of the third period up, running out of time before we move into an overtime period. And the puck. Up out of play, 6.33 remaining, and another tie here, third or fourth time that this game has been tied, but it's always been Team Crimson taking the lead ever since it was one to one. We'll see if that pattern continues with 6.20 left to play connecting on the cross ass pass to Luke Corrigan shot and stick flying and a cover up by Ryder Holloway Paul Stern's stick went flying in the air as save was able to be made strong Win on the faceoff for Team Gold. And Lucier in the corner getting it up now to Underwood. Underwood pushing it to the neutral zone, but taken away now as Team Crimson pushes it off the boards. Jesse Heinberg rebounding his own pass. Puck headed into the corner. Luke Corrigan now has it taken away. Lucier takes it away for Team Gold, ricocheting into Crimson's end. Where Johnson leaves it. And gold now. Coming in close, but take away for Crimson. Crimson looking to get back in front. Deflected off Holloway. Lucier there for the rebound. Back into the neutral zone. Crimson now taking back possession and a big hit alongside Team Gold's bench area. Lucier getting it up the rink. Now wrapping around Team Gold. Under five minutes to go in our third period. Big collision there as the puck now headed down the rink. Weaving through, up and out of play. Should this game remain tied after our third period is finished, we're gonna move on to an overtime period. Face off near Team Crimson as Gold looks to spoil the game in Pomfret for Team Crimson. Or even as Gold. Brings it back into the neutral zone. The shot 
to the left of the net, ricocheting into the hands of Team Crimson as Choeshi finds his teammate, but a takeaway now. In the far right corner. Up now to the right wing. Passed around in close and Johnson keeps the game tied. Pass down the ice and Holloway wraps it the other way. Connecting as Agarwal has it now. Delayed penalty and Crimson will be a man down. Headed to the penalty box, Jake Glickman. Two minute penalty with just under three minutes remaining. Good opportunity for Team Gold to take the lead. Gets it over now to Lexi Kurt. Back down the ice for Paul Stearns, who cuts back and gets ready to get going from behind Team Gold's own net. But a big takeaway now as Jesse Heinberg takes it away, now taken back by Stearns. Underwood with it. Stearns back with possession and sloppy start to the power play by Team Gold. Getting it in close, and Corrigan picks it up for Crimson. Luke Corrigan bringing it into the attacking zone. A man down as lines change for the penalty kill unit. A minute to go on the penalty kill. Weaving it around, covered up off of Stern's shot. Still time to capitalize on the man advantage as Team Gold passes it around at the blue line. Moving it close now. Crimson fighting for it alongside the boards. Under a minute and 30 to go in regulation time. Under 30 seconds to go on the power play. As Underwood passes, now gets it back at the point. Moves it along over the net. Hard clear by Team Crimson. Gets it all the way to Holloway. Less than 10 to go on the power play. Out of time with even numbers now. With under a minute to go, five on five. Approaching overtime as the puck goes up and into the bench area. So after a 40 minute delay to getting our games underway here, looks like we might have some bonus hockey as well on the back end of it. Charlie Adams bringing you all the coverage on the Fans Only Sports Network. Currently tied with 35 seconds left to play. As the John at Pomfret schools packed out watching their Pomfret Griffins as Team Crimson looks to take the lead. Deflected shot. Less than 20 seconds to go. Maybe the last chances as Jacob Gelman 
Brings it into the neutral zone. Now cross ice, connected with seven seconds and frozen with six. Six seconds to go, face off in Team Crimson territory. Last seconds of our third period. Uh, it's bouncing around with two seconds and it'll be no goals scored in our final seconds of our third period. We're still even five to five. We'll take a quick break and be back with you in time for our overtime period here on the Fans Only Sports Network. Sudden death overtime before we move to a shootout. Sorry, not having the mic on there, but just recapping. Five to five, five minute overtime period. First goal wins it. Puck sent behind the net. Crimson now in the neutral zone. Four minutes to go in our overtime period as Crimson has it. They bring it in behind Marcelino who finds the back of the net. That'll do it as Team Crimson takes it six to five with the overtime score. Louis Marcelino took an uh, extra minute and eight seconds, but Team Crimson wins in front of the hometown crowd here in Pomfret. Team Crimson walks out the victors. They've now moved to eight and seven. That'll do it for our broadcast on the Peak Performance Prep Hockey. Broadcasted from the Fans Only Sports Network. On behalf of myself and my cameraman, Ashton Allison, have a great rest of your night. Hope to see you joining us on the Fans Only Sports Network for another time. You can watch any of our Peak Hockey games live or on demand for free on our YouTube page.